Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Nort, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be showcasing a super easy glitch in GTA 5, and this will allow you to access North Yankton outside any sort of mission or job or, or just anything in the game. This will just allow you to do full free roam around North Yankton, and all you're going to want to do is simply make your way to any ammunition store, and you're going to want to go into the back where you can play shooting. You're then going to want to complete a challenge and then all you're going to want to do is simply exit that challenge and go back into online it will ask you if you want to quit the shooting range and then you'll be spawned back in online you're then going to want to hold down on the d-pad and switch to the character michael or you can just simply leave gta online and switch the character michael there which is what my friend did now i'm just going to quickly take this opportunity to ask you guys to subscribe to my friend vigor he helped me out a lot with this glitch i'll leave a link to his youtube channel in the description below make sure you go and subscribe to him if you guys want to see more content like this he's an awesome guy but once you go back into single player if you're not michael just simply swap back to michael which is what my friend did and once you are Michael, you're then going to want to press start, go into game, and you're going to want to launch up the job, bury the hatchet. Now you must make sure you have this mission unlocked. If you do not, then unfortunately you may not be able to do this glitch. But once you've loaded up the mission, bury the hatchet, because you are Michael, you will notice this glitch will be easier to do. It's a bit more difficult to do with Trevor as the timing and everything about this glitch just takes a lot longer and more difficult to do. Make sure you are using Michael. Once you've loaded up this mission, you're then going to want to make your way over to the airport which will take about a minute to do just driving there. But once you have made your way to the airport, I recommend getting a taxi because you can basically get there a lot faster. Once you are at the airport, you're then going to want to walk into the cutscene and then you're going to want to let the cutscene play, but you're going to want to spam the X or A button as fast as you possibly can. This way you can skip the cutscene as fast as you possibly can. You must make sure you skip the cutscene. And the moment you go into the black screen, you're going to want to press the PlayStation button, go onto your profile, and then you're going to want to scroll down to your shooting game minigame, which is the one you just played in the ammunition store, and you're going to want to start minigame. And what it will say is that it will ask you if you want to quit GTA 5, all of your unsaved progress will be lost. It will then take you into the loading screen. It will say you want to go into online, but then after a while, it will then disconnect you and say, unfortunately, we could not connect to the online servers. You have been returned to Grand Theft Auto 5 story mode. That's all okay. Go back into story mode. And then once you're back in story mode, what you will notice is that if you go over to where North Yankton will have spawned, North Yankton will be there. For some reason, by starting up this mini game whilst in the cutscene on the way to bury the hatchet, it loads up North Yankton for you and you keep that load there. Unfortunately, this glitch will only work in single player and as of now, this tutorial only works for PlayStation 4. A few other people have tested it for Xbox One and PC and they couldn't get it working, but this does work on PlayStation 4. Now, like I said, my good friend Vigor Gaming helped me out with this glitch and he recorded this today with me. If you want to go and check out his channel, I really do recommend you guys do so. There will be a link to it in the description below. He's an awesome guy. He helps me out with a lot of glitches in GTA 5. But what you will notice is as you start flying to this general direction, just keep flying over to the bottom southeast side of the map. And as you keep flying, you will see some objects start spawning in. And this is North Yankton. All you're going to want to do is simply fly over to North Yankton and eventually you'll be able to land your helicopter in the main part of North Yankton. You can get a car. You can also get a cargo bob as well and drop a car there as well if you want to. But essentially this will allow you to explore North Yankton in single player. And I know loads of you guys have been asking for something like this for a while. So I hope you do enjoy it guys. And as you can see here, North Yankton is starting to spawn in. Not all of it will be available to explore because you will start falling through the map as the map physically isn't there. But there's still a lot of stuff to explore and I think some of you guys may know that already from previous glitches. But if you haven't explored North Yankton, I recommend doing this glitch. It's a really easy glitch to do. Of course, it does only work with PlayStation 4 as of now, but it's still a really fun and easy glitch to do. And it will allow you to check out something which you may have never checked out before. 
Anyway guys, I hope you did enjoy this video, and if you did, please don't leave without smashing the like button, it would be very much appreciated. And if you are new here, I recommend you click the subscribe button as well, so you won't miss out on any more content just like this every single day. Anyway guys, my name is Nort, thank you for watching, if you have any comments or questions, let me know down in the comments section below, but guys, I hope you did enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next video.